I saw in the last couple of years a lot of talented boys. Eh? So unbelievable eh? how early it starts me in my 14, 15, 16. You see them already. The boys I see, they all have talent. Eh? It's like they, 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 I don't see all of them. I only see the, the icing of the cake if you want already. And if you see them, then it's the, the combination of speed and technique is very often um, very obvious. I think a couple of years ago we said that there are not a lot of players out there who are good in dribblings. And now we have plenty of players in, in that, with that skill. What you see as well in a, in a very often with young players, that nobody taught them really the game. So what are you doing when you don't have the ball? So means you see them have, when they have the ball, they start. It's unbelievable. One one going, shooting left and left and right, and all good. But when the ball is somewhere else, you don't see movements, you don't see offers and stuff like that. So, but you ask me what I see in a, in a what does a player need to have when he's young? Talent and an obvious football character. You see that easy. You can see that. How is he involved in the game and all that stuff? If you are strange with 16, it's pretty likely that you are much more strange when you're 25. So be a, not nice and humble, just a normal football player with extraordinary skills. And for example, I saw Keegan and Pape when he was 16. Everybody knew, yeah, that will be a wow. Absolutely be amazing. And he's a nice kid and a world-class player. So he's a good example for that generation, actually. No, I don't know what it is. That's always different. But what I can say, each player needs to have something like, where I say, but it could be a long throw in, which lets me really get exciting, to be honest. And see, okay, he's not bad and that and that, but yet he throws the ball out of the stadium. Good left foot, good finishing. There are a lot of things, but it's not one special thing. Look, you are 15, 16 years old, and you're club the best player, wherever it is. Could be in Iceland, could be in Denmark, could be in Germany, could be in wherever. That leads to interest from outside. This already, the interest from outside changed something in yourself because you, 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 you are not with you in that moment. And now the more interest comes from outside, um, the more it changes. So now agents are coming around the corner and stuff like that and making you nuts and then telling you, you have to do this, you have to do that. There can be a, happen a lot of things. And it's, if this is all good and you have, let me say your father is your agent, for example, and you go to an next club and you have a good coach, then you grow physically. So your thighs get thicker or not. You, there so many things can happen. So the only problem is that we judge them so early. We start with 14, wow, that's a talent. And then he starts growing, and, uh, but he's not quick enough anymore. So we, create the expectations very often in the boys. And the nature stops it. It's not always attitude. It's not always that they start smoking, drinking, or having a girlfriend or whatever. A lot of things can happen. Most of them are physically, because they are still growing, they are still changing their stature and all that stuff, and that can happen a lot of things. Eh? And very often, that, that's, a, that's a, probably the biggest problem that young boys don't have, um, very often don't have the patience anymore. Because it's now you're 18 and you don't play already in the first team, what's wrong? When I played football, I was 23 when I came to the professional football and they told me, so now you are not a talent anymore. Means until 22 I was a talent. So today, 22, if you don't have 100 first league games, then something is wrong. So nobody's really patient anymore and that's, uh, that's not too cool. So we try to be different in that way. We try to give our boys the time, but sometimes the boys don't want to have that much time and want to have be already a bit earlier somewhere else and then you cannot change that so but Trent Alexander is the perfect example and eh? perfect from day one he did everything like he should have done by being himself not by listening to us what do I have to do what do I have to do no it was clear for him I have to learn so I will learn I will do my very best and there will come the day when I play since today when, when he's not when he's not playing, he's not looking at me thinking, why, why not? He knows I thought about it, so he doesn't have to think about it. He doesn't play because he plays the next game or whatever. And um, that's pretty smart from him, to be honest. Weaknesses are clear, everybody. Football is a game of, mis of mistakes, of faults. So um, human beings are um, built on weaknesses, actually. <laughs> Otherwise, we could fly. 
So um, it means yeah, clearly, clearly on the strength, there's no doubt about that. So what is, where is he good in? And actually, it takes quite a while until we talk about the weaknesses, if we talk about them. So when, he, when he, we are together, so it's really that we try to improve him in all departments and step by step, we delete the not so good things. It's training and it's um, and it's for sure lifestyle. <laughs> so it's not that the 20, 15, 20 years or at 18, 15, 18 years of your career are not there for enjoying life on highest level, I would say. So <laughs> doing everything what other people do as well. And so that's not just not possible. You have to take care. You have to take care of yourself. You have to, you should not, alcohol is, if you don't drive, alcohol is not a massive problem, but for recovery, it's, it's bullshit. It doesn't help. So we have only three days between two games. So if you have a beer or two after the game, you would say it's not a problem, but it slows down the recovery. So that's only as a little example. It's not that we don't, that we say it's not allowed or whatever. It just makes no sense. Nowadays, we actually do everything to help the, to help the players um, with their, with the life around football. So nutritioning very, very big thing meanwhile. Huh? So that helps a lot. And um, if, you, if you do, if you sleep enough, if you work, train hard, if you eat the right things, drink the right things, that's, a, that's all what you need for a long career. And very important, you cannot have, don't have influence too much on that. Luck, not getting injured. To stay, to be, have a long career, you need to be a serious person actually. <laughs>